Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. And today we're taking a look at a very cool knife. This is the Condor Carlitos. Very excited about this little fixed blade. Let's get into this. Starting off with our blade length measurement, we're coming in under two and a half inches. Let's go all the way to the paracord and eh, maybe three inches, but I mean back here to the plunge, two and a half at most. Little tiny guy. Um, don't I don't review enough small fixed blades because I really do like them. All right, um, size comparisons. We're not gonna do a whole lot here. We're gonna compare against the rats because we have to. Uh, if you're watching a knife reviewer and he doesn't compare things to the rat, then um, you shouldn't trust him or her. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, and then we're going to compare against a couple of fixed blades. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the review on this one yet. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll do the review on this guy, but we have that knives wrench thing. And my one of my favorite neck knives, this is the Cold Steel Mini Tack. So, there we go. Very, very small knife. Uh, this knife was donated to the channel by old Tonto Guy, so thank you very much to him. This is one of the knives that I'm giving away for my 1K giveaway. This video is probably coming out in February, so uh, hopefully the giveaway's already happened at that point and one of you watching owns this. Anyways, what are we looking at here? Well, 1095 carbon steel, like Condor normally does, with paracord. And that's it. Sheath, we're looking at Kydex, taco style, and more paracord. Nothing to it. Let's go ahead and go to the cutting. Hey guys, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. That's what I normally say at the beginning of the video. I don't know why I said it for review cutting. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to be doing the review cutting for the Condor Carlitos. This is a really cool little neck knife and I've really enjoyed carrying it quite a bit. I'm a big fan of neck knives and... Um, I haven't been carrying them a lot recently, and so this gave me a good excuse to, you know, start carrying neck knives again, you know, work on the review for this, and uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So, let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, how's it carry? Well, here's a little thing. <laughs> here's the sheath. Kydex. Uh, taco style. A little bit of rattle, but not bad. Nothing I would really um, complain about. It didn't rattle around too much while I was actually carrying it, so that's good. Retention is solid, though. Good retention. Comes out nice and easy. Uh, my one complaint is, personally, I would like to replace this with a breakaway chain. That's just kind of a safety thing for me, but, you know, if you're, if you're not going to be around anywhere where you know you're going to be around machinery that might grab this or you know you're not expecting to be attacked by anyone who will grab this uh it works great and you know you get extra paracord for you know your outdoor survival situation stuff like that how are the ergos really good honestly so i can't it's a small knife i can't get a full four finger grip on there but i can get a really good grip this lanyard helps a lot the jimping there on the back of the blade very nice very easy to grip and it's got good traction. Okay, we don't have to talk about action, so let's go ahead and let's start talking about the blade. Look, a small EDC fixed blade is great for everything EDC related. In a lot of ways, it can kind of replace a folding knife. Um, if you are only concerned about efficiency first, I mean, I know this is going to break some of your guys' hearts, but there are people out there who don't collect knives. They just want the best tool for the job. I know, what weirdos. But if you're one of those people and you're looking for something, you know, you just want to have a couple of knives to do everything you need them to do. Small EDC fixed blade. Bigger full-size fixed blade. Um, maybe a... Like Swiss Army type knife. And you're good to go. Those three fixed blades will get you get you through. And maybe maybe like a um, a big machete type fixed blade too. Add that in there. 
those four fixed blades will get you through pretty much anything and everything. You'll be fine. So this little knife here, 1095 steel, which Condor uses a lot. They do a good job with it. I don't really have a whole, well, I do have some complaints. I wish this was stainless steel, but I'll get into that more at the table. Um, but yeah, we have a small, very small knife, but is very capable for all your EDC type stuff. So let's go ahead and get some cutting done. Let's grab us some of the old cardboard. And actually, let's cut off one of these smaller little wings here. It's a short little blade, but you know what? They've got nice little hollow grind on here, and it slices good. Does what you want it to do, right? Let's go ahead and grab our little rope here. Whoa. It kind of struggled with that, a little more than I was expecting. Might be just because it's going a little bit dull. Let's get down here on the table and look. Snow, isn't that great? One, two, three. Okay. Mm, it did all right. Not amazing. Actually, quite a bit worse than I expected, but it's a light blade. So, you know, getting a little bit of pressure down there, I'd have to push pretty hard and crunch back and forth. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. It wasn't great, but usable. Okay, this is probably going to be a little bit weird because the blade is just shorter than the circumference of the pool noodle. But let's go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to do the one since it's a small knife. But yeah, as you can see there, slice pretty nicely and pass through without a problem. So let's go ahead and get back to the table and finish talking about this pretty cool little knife. Always, always got to stick the landing. Alrighty, let's talk about what I'm liking and not liking about this little knife. <sighs> There's a lot of good here. There is a lot of good here. All right, so first thing I like is that it's a little knife. Um, small fixed blades are so underrated in my opinion. They are incredibly useful. This knife here, I enjoyed carrying it so much. Pull it out and you're ready to go. You know, you pull it out of the sheath and you're ready to go. Grab it like this, do some cuts, you can open your packages. It's just so handy. You know, there, there's not a whole lot of maintenance to do, if any at all. You know, I don't have to worry about bearings or folding moving parts. It's very simple, it's very clean, and you know, especially for an EDC knife, you know, this, what, two and three quarters of an inch of sharpened edge, or I guess two and a quarter, my bad. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's really all you need, right? And it works really good, so I really appreciate that. Next thing, um, for such a small knife, if it works in the hand really well. This lanyard here helps a lot, you know, give me something to grab onto with my pinky. This jimping up here is really good. It's very grippy. It's functional. I enjoy it a whole lot. Um, yeah, it feels really good in my hand. Very good ergonomics for such a, a tiny knife. And that's, that's really, really good. I already talked a little bit about the blade, but I mean, nothing special, but it is a good shape. You know, we got kind of a straight back here, maybe a little bit drop pointy. And it's good for just EDC stuff. If you need to make some small, quick cuts, get into a package, focus up here, camera. You know, this is nice. I appreciate that it's coated, you know, with it being with it being a neck knife. This is, you know, I've worn this under my shirt, so you don't want to get sweatiness on there to rust your, your knife, so that's good. The paracord is useful. I like the wrap. It's very nice, gives you some girth in the hand, and you know, it's a extra survival thing. The sheath itself works very nicely. It's a little bit rattly, but the retention is 100% solid, so I like that. It's easy to get out of there. We don't have a thumb push off on the top, which I usually prefer, but we kind of got something here on the bottom where I would grab it and just push off with that finger, 
and go to there. You do have to be careful with that, I will admit, because sometimes, you know, you don't want to have your finger up here and then pull it out and get your, your finger on the edge, but it works good. It works good. And the last thing I like is the price. I think these are, I think these are priced pretty well. And that's about it for the likes. I mean, this is a simple knife. It's not, you know, reinventing the wheel or anything. Geez, why is my camera not focusing? <laughs> Come on, camera. What's going on here? Let's fix this. All right, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I will fix that in the next video, but we might have some focusing issues throughout the entirety of this one. I'm not sure what's going on. That is weird. Huh. Anyways. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a simple knife. There's not a there's not a whole lot to talk about. In a lot of ways, that's a good thing. Alright, let's talk about what I uh, dislike. Number one, I prefer neck knives to have breakaway chains because, you know, it, it's a safety thing. I don't want someone to grab this and strangle me to death with it. Um, and I also don't want this to get like caught in a moving part of, of something if I'm doing some work on like a, a tractor or something, pull me in. I prefer the breakaway chain, so that's one thing. For just, you know, going out outdoors and stuff, this is cool. It might even be preferable because, you know, it gives you more string to work with in case you get in a bad situation, but yeah. The rattling um, can be a little bit annoying. I guess, but it doesn't bother me at all, so I'm not gonna harp on it. I do wish they'd use a different steel. 1095 is cool, it's a good steel, but on a knife that's, you know, obviously not a big, heavy, hard use knife, I wish it would go with something else, maybe even a stainless steel. Um, they've been using 420 and 440, I think, in the past. I wish they would've just, just gone with that. I think that would've been cool. Uh, next thing, actually, that's it. I was going to say one thing, but um, it's not really actually an issue. I was going to say it came a little bit dull, but this was a second-hand knife, so it was probably used. All right, let's go on to my final conclusions. Final conclusions, this is a really cool little knife. I love neck knives. I, I, I carry neck knives a lot. I haven't... I haven't carried them in a while, but when Old Tonto Guy donated this one to the channel, I started carrying it, and I was like, I I need to get to carrying neck knives again, because they're super useful. And a small fixed blade makes a great EDC, low maintenance, high utility type situation. And yeah, I really love carrying this knife. It's small, but it, you know, it fits in my hand, it's capable. You know, it can handle pretty much any task that I can think of off the top of my head that's EDC related. And uh, yeah, I I appreciate that. I'm gonna stop trying to get that focus to work. I think it's because it's getting a little bit late. It is late in the evening right now, so the sunlight's kind of changing. But yeah, cool little knife. I really enjoy it. I think whoever wins this in the giveaway is going to really enjoy it. Um, I might even pick my pick one of these up for myself because yeah, it's been it's been nice to use. I've I really it's really got me into neck knives again. So yeah, great little knife. Definitely gets a recommendation from me. And uh, yeah, check it out. That's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.